This video is sponsored by EssentialDeveloper.com by Kyo and Mike. They're offering a free course for iOS developers who want to master scalable architectural patterns and become one of the most wanted developers in the world. It's a three-day crash course, 100% online, where you'll take the first steps to work on large iOS projects, have a bigger impact, and consequently increase your salary. Many of Kyle and Mike's students at Essential Developer get jobs at large companies worldwide. During this free crash course, you can ask questions directly to Kyle and Mike, and as a bonus, you'll also have access to live mentoring sessions. The course is online, so you can follow the lessons from the comfort of your home. It's 100% free, so take advantage of this opportunity. If you want to become a real senior developer, this course can make all the difference in your career. The course is available for a short period of time, so visit EssentialDeveloper.com slash to secure your free spot now. Today we're going to be learning about raw strings in Swift. We'll go through a practical example as to why you would use them and showcase that in a playground. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, throw an emoji, say hello in the comments for the YouTube algorithm. It means a lot and really helps. Let's open up Xcode and jump in. So we'll start by creating a new playground here as soon as Xcode cooperates. There we go. And let's move this to the center here. Let's be creative and call our project raw strings with three Z's at the end, because I'm actually tired right now. And I'll toss it onto my desktop and full screen our window. Cool, so first things first, what is a string? Well, we have a string here, fairly trivial concept. If you're unfamiliar, I encourage you to look at earlier videos. With this out of the way, let's actually first look at the problem that raw strings are going to solve for us. So I'll create a basic string here, and let's create a JSON representation of a string, uh, or a string representation of, a, of JSON, I should say. So if you're unfamiliar, Let's take a look at a brief JSON structure. So we'll have our curlies here, and perhaps we'll have ID, one, two, three, and we'll have a name in here, and I'll stick in iOS Academy. This is a basic JSON structure. So let's go and model this in our string up here. So we'll want quotes and put ID in here, and we run into our first issue. Well, we clearly need to escape these inner double quotes because our string doesn't know that this is a part of the string rather than where the string should end. So we'll introduce our backslash. Pretty simple. Once again, we'll need to do that again for every single key and value we put into our uh, string here. And I'll call out that this is a good example to exemplify what raw strings do, but this is no way um, you know, only applicable to JSON representations um, in string format. You can use it for anything where you need to escape characters. So cool, so we have this here now. And the example that I'm gonna go with before introducing raw strings down here is we wanna convert this string into a JSON object. So let's create a function down here and let's call it to JSON. We'll say it takes in an input and all it's going to do is first create some data from said input. So we'll say input data using UTF-8. If we're not able to get data, we'll just return here. And then we will say that our JSON will be try and I'm just gonna force unwrap it like that because I know it's going to work. Uh, JSON with our data here, and finally, we will print said JSON. So let's call this function, so to JSON with our string up here, so my JSON string. We'll give our playground a run by opening up our console with command shift Y, and we see our dictionary proper formatted JSON object from the input string. So there's nothing wrong with this, it works perfectly fine, the problem herein lies is that this is ugly and not really readable, right? Like once you have a complex string, this is a very simple string, right? Two, two keys, two values. But it's already pretty crazy, right? With these backslashes and it gets wild it's like the larger you get. So let's say I wanna get rid of all these backslashes because they're scaring me and I can't understand what's going on. We get back to the root of the problem. Well, actually, instead of removing them, let me copy and paste this down below so we have the before and after to look at. So we'll call this my raw JSON string. And let's get rid of all of these escaping backslashes because they're not super readable, they're not super friendly and kind of ugly 
So I'll get rid of these and we're back at square one where we have the problem of our quotes not escaping. One thing that I've recently learned is that you can use a raw string. So we can add a pound, otherwise known as a hashtag, to the front and end of our string. And this will inform Swift and the compiler to treat anything in between the hash and the quote as a raw string. So don't interpret the Unicode characters as termination characters, in this case to quotes, but just as if they were escaped. Now, this actually functions exactly the same. So if I try to convert the raw string into our JSON object and I give our playground a stop and rerun, we'll get the exact same output. The difference now is the string is just much more friendly to work with. And that's raw strings in a nutshell. Um, I actually did not know about this, even though I've been working on iOS for more than 10 years now. I found it on LinkedIn from a post by Vincent that I recently uh, mentioned in an earlier video. So definitely take a look at raw strings. Let me know in the comments if you've used it. I'll link Vincent's post down below as well on LinkedIn where I got this from. And I appreciate y'all watching. Drop a comment, say hello, hit that like button, subscribe if you're into iOS. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.